Hey, it's you 11 meteorologist Kim Castro here. We are on the seawall talking storm surge. This is the most dangerous and threatening component of a hurricane for folks that live along the coast. So we're taking it to the experts that have been here through decades of experiencing this type of hazard. We're here with Johnny Smecca from Mario Seawall Italian restaurant and pizzeria. You've been through the gamut of risks, hazards, dangers, rebuilding and reestablishing yourself. Take me through what you've been through, starting with Alicia in 1983. Yeah, so in 1983, um, our original restaurant was destroyed. And so we rebuilt after that. And this is part of that rebuild from 1983. Uh, Alicia for us was a major wind event. And so not a lot of water damage, but wind. And so a lot of our buildings back then, not up to the same codes. Um, were destroyed yeah. uh, and ours was one of them. So then you rebuild and then we'll take it over to Ike in 2008, a huge catastrophic event for the island. What happened there, not only with this restaurant, but some more properties that you have yes. closer to downtown? Yes, so um, the two restaurants on the seawall, Mario's Seawall and Papa's Pizza, uh, both you know, were saved by the seawall. So we were fine there. Some wind damage, but we made it through that. The three restaurants downtown actually were, um, had eight foot of water in its buildings, so totally destroyed, totally had to rebuild. Yeah, just tried to envision eight feet of water, you know, and Ike had between 15 to 20 feet of water. It's that cyclonic rotation within a hurricane, the winds that really push those waves on top of each other. Even a cubic yard of water has the power of 1,700 pounds. So no surprise the kind of damage it can create. And I asked you if you were here for Ike and you said, well, my property was here, but I sure wasn't. So one of the things I think is important for anybody listening is that you heed the warnings, you listen to your local officials. And um, once they gave some of those early indications, you know, I have elderly parents and I had young children. So for me, it was smart to close up shop, give my employees the opportunity to make plans and to get off the island. And if you remember, you know, several uh, storms passed, there was a lot of traffic jams on the mm -hmm. highway. And so we kind of thought ahead and at least five days out began to prep and get our employees off the island. What is the main contributing factor to what kind of damage these areas will get and why? So up on the seawall, we prepare ourselves for wind. So, you know, boarding windows, boarding entry points is important on the seawall. But when you get downtown, you're kind of left, you know, to take care of the aftermath because the water, uh, where the, you're at the lowest point downtown, and so when the water rises, it'll come in uh, from the backside sometimes, which happened in Hurricane Ike. And so it's hard, it's hard to prepare for that, right? It's hard, you can put up sandbags and things like that, but when it gets to eight foot of, you know, height like it did for Ike, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to prepare for that. So the difference is, Seawall, you know, you have the you have the protection of mm -hmm. 19, you know, since the 1900s. The downtown doesn't have that luxury. And elevation and proximity to that storm surge all dictates what your evacuation zone is. It is incredibly important to be educated on that and to come up with a plan. What is the closest spot I could safely evacuate to without being at risk for a traffic jam? All those components are very important to think about. Make sure you're keeping up with us on KHAU.com to keep you weather smart during this hurricane season.